As we all know, Hollywood isn't big on originality, so why should musicals be any different? As the genre once again begins to gain traction at the box office and the awards circuit, Les Mis made over $437 million worldwide and was nominated for eight Oscars, winning three, the studios are quickly looking to see what other movie musicals they can remake. Yes, sorry Wicked and Book of Mormon fans, Hollywood is still risk averse. But the good news is, is that while the musicals themselves might be old hat, the studios are adding some unique twists. Take the remake of Guys and Dolls, which 20th Century Fox has just announced. Craig Zayden and Neil Maron will produce, and they have plenty of experience with Chicago and Hairspray. But who do they want to star? None other than Channing Tatum and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who are both reportedly keen to do so. And why not, as both actors were a part of Zayden and Maron's successful 2013 Oscar cast. I recently spoke to Tatum at the premiere of Side Effects, and he said the only thing keeping him out of his planned Magic Mike musical was his inability to sing. But apparently the chance to star in such a high-profile musical is more persuasive than revisiting his 2012 skin flick hit. And Tatum would have a little leeway, as nobody expects a gangster to be that good a singer. Yes, for those of you not familiar with the musical, Guys and Dolls is about small-time criminals and gamblers in 1940s New York, but also includes an unlikely romance and religion. That last one a hot topic with today's audiences. Tatum would likely take on the Marlon Brando role, while Gordon Levitt would take over for Frank Sinatra. Now, if only we could get Daniel Radcliffe in on this. Now, another musical returning to the silver screen is Annie. But this time, everyone's favorite orphan is getting the urban treatment. And Jay-Z, who did his own clever version of Hard Knock Life back in 1998, produces. He'll also write new songs for the movie and is co-producing with Will Smith, who did an excellent job updating another kitty classic, The Karate Kid. That pick was a star vehicle for his son Jaden, and Annie was supposed to be a star vehicle for daughter Willow. But it turns out Willow, despite her hit song Whip My Hair, isn't as interested in the spotlight as the rest of her family. So after a slight delay, Annie is now moving forward again with Oscar nominee Quavonzene Wallace in the lead. It'll be directed by Will Gluck, who did an excellent job with the quirky Easy A. Then finally, it was also just announced that one new musical will be making the leap from the stage to the screen for the first time, Into the Woods. Naturally, Disney is the one that greenlit this fairy tale mashup with songs by Stephen Sondheim. And it looks like they've secured one of their biggest stars as well, Johnny Depp. Depp already sang Sondheim in Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd, and while I'm sure his contract stipulates that Helena Bonham Carter must also star, the coveted lead role of The Witch is going to Meryl Streep. Into the Woods will reunite Depp with his Pirates 4 director Rob Marshall, and perhaps letting Marshall return to his musical roots is Disney's reward for his keeping their lucrative franchise going. Marshall previously helmed Chicago in 9, as well as the 1999 TV movie musical Annie. So are you excited about these remakes with a twist? Or would you like to see more musicals like Into the Woods brought to the silver screen for the first time? Or how about a new musical written exclusively for the screen? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.